Helicopter to the Mars, just to park it by a spaceship. Homeboy vegan, but he eat his steak with ketchup. Thought about moving to Mars, but my girlfriend would have missed me. Hold up, I, I don't know, something sounded weird. Let me let me listen to that back. Just to park it by a spaceship. Homeboy vegan, but he eat his steak. I don't know what could be wrong, man. What? Hey man, if you built a home studio, chances are your control room is the same room as your recording room. But that's okay, we just need to follow a few basic guidelines to make sure we get the best possible outcome whenever we are recording in our control room. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and smarter. <laughs> Yo, I want to first just start off by saying if you have a home studio, shout out to you. It's not easy, man, to, to build a home studio and really take that under, taken under control. So salute, right? As a mixing engineer though, I receive sessions from people who have recorded in their home studios all the time. So I find so many problems um, that are happening whenever the artist is in the same room as the engineer. And, I'm and sometimes you might even be engineering yourself. So these same rules will apply anytime that you are either the artist slash engineer or your engineer is in the same room as the artist. You know what I'm talking about, man. They basically standing right next to you into the microphone while you were right there on the computer. And there's all kinds of things that can go wrong. First thing first, one of the biggest problems that I've seen and the easiest thing to fix is whenever you are recording in the same room as uh, your control room is, located, make sure that you turn off the speakers before you do any playback. Now, this may be on your monitor controller, like the Mackie bit knob we have. We can actually just deselect whichever speakers we don't want to be active, or you can turn the volume down and you have a separate control for your headphone level. So while you are recording, make sure that the speakers, if you're using any studio monitors, the level, there should be no sound coming out of them. Now I know that seems really, really basic, like duh Wayne, why would I wanna be listening out of monitors and then that same sound is gonna go into my microphone? It sounds so simple, but I know that there are some of y'all out there who just who just did this, right? Who recorded something and you're using the, the studio monitors or some speakers and you actually have a microphone and you record into the microphone. Please do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Turn off the speakers if you need to and make sure that you are using. The Wavy One headphones are perfect and ideal for this exact situation. If I'm recording in the same room that my artist is standing in and I'm engineering and they're standing right next to me rapping into the microphone, by having a, a headphone that actually attenuates 33.4 dB of outside noise, that means that I'm going to be able to hear 33.4 dB more of what I need to hear and 33.4 dB less of what's happening in this room. Because let's be honest, while we're recording, the most important thing is to monitor from the record device. So I need to be monitoring my DAW and not listening to what's happening in the room. I need to make sure that what we're actually putting down is not distorted or what there's not some strange noises happening. So both your artist and the engineer need a pair of isolated closed back headphones so that they can focus on what they need to hear. Another huge problem, oftentimes, their headphones that y'all are using, they must be open back headphones or they just don't offer a lot of uh, isolation, but there's an enormous amount of headphone bleed making it into your recordings, especially that hi-hat. The hi-hat always seems to make it through or the metronome. So what you need to do is make sure that you're using a great pair of studio headphones like the wavy ones or whatever man there's other brands out here that may not be as cool or good looking or even sound as good as the wavy ones or you can't just get them on wavywayne.com but they will help you if you're using isolating closed back headphones especially if you are recording in your control room or vice versa now the next thing that i'm going to talk about is going to be feedback man because again another way that we can get feedback is that once you do or well, after your record take is over what do you want to do you want to hear it back yeah i want to hear it in the speakers and all that so after that record take is over you unmute the speakers, turn them up, hit play, and you start to get this feedback sound. Something ain't sounding right in the studio. Well, make sure that you disarm the microphone inside your DAW, 
this arm of the microphone so it's no longer hot, it's no longer getting the input signal and therefore it won't be feeding back after you're trying to play whatever it is that you just recorded. So after you record, before you play back anything in that same room, be sure that you dis able the microphone. My last and final tip is gonna be to be quiet, okay? That means don't be jangling around, don't be moving in your seat, right? Some of you got a squeaky seat or whatever, the floor. Make sure that you're being quiet. If they're there rapping or singing in the same room next to you, you can't really be typing on the keyboard, sending an email at the same time, or you can't be moving around in your chair, right? Maybe grab some oil, some three-in-one oil or something, Oil up the chair so it's not squeaky anymore and just try to sit still in that seat um, so that you don't introduce any unwanted noise into the recording. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. These tips are to help you get the best sound whenever your control room is your recording room at the same time. And that happens to be the case for a lot of us when we're working in a home studio. If you found this helpful, please share it with somebody that you know, and also drop down in the comments and let me know what else can we do to get the best possible sound whenever we are recording in the same room. That's our control room. I don't even know, what, you know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Y'all be dope. Thank you.